How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Soul Race Specialist. Last episode was actually insane. Some of the best RNG I've seen、uh, in terms of, I guess, a mid level Iron Man. Like 11 KC, 12 KC, some r a c k i n Spear. That's huge, man. One of my biggest goals that I needed to get before raids. The z e r a k i a n Hosta will be my main weapon at home for a very long time. It's my base weapon to start off. So, yes, we have one of the big goals completed. So, on the screen, you'll see a bunch of stuff that I need to complete on phase one that's still marked off a Fury, a Magic Fang, the Void Set. We also have the Ava's Assembler. And the Dragon Warhammer, probably going to be the longest grind. And a few skills like Sunny u r b l e r a 90 attack, and defense, k a n d r a n Diaries, and Western Diaries. And that's it. Once I get all those things done, we are ready to start raiding and get into phase two. That's going to be the fun stuff. My next RNG item grind is going to be the Magic Fang. I believe this is going to be one of the best times to do it because I have RNG potions now and I do have higher magic. So z o r a should be a lot easier. So, yeah, it's definitely a good time. And as for combat training, I still got some defense and attack levels to go. So, probably just gonna be、uh, training that mostly throughout the rest of these next few days and wrap that up. And of course, do my farm runs to get that 70 herb alert. So, that's pretty much the plan for a bit. Hey, 87 cooking! I learned something interesting about the Hostidious cooking range recently. So, this range gives you passive cooking boost. So that way, if you normally were to burn something, it'll reduce the chance of burning or might completely stop burning a particular food. However, it doesn't work for the first food in the inventory that you cook all. One of the best things about AFK angler fishing, besides the AFK, is the clue scrolls. Tons of clue scroll bottles. Oh, yeah, Abyssal Demon Test. Here we go, boys. Ooh, got this fall on. Hey, you just hit 88 attack. Beautiful, beautiful stuff here. Alright, boys, let's open up this hard clue from、uh, Gargoyles. Please be good. Oh, Sammy Page 1. Sammy Page 1. Oh, why is it always the freaking same ones, boys? Three of these, man. Feels bad. Oh, yeah, I should get a prayer level for this while I'm recharging my、uh, Bone Crusher. 72 prayer, nice. 17, 25 total. Pretty good. Alright, it's been a little bit.、Uh, I took a break yesterday.、Uh, just, you know, constant hours of grinding every day. Definitely wears you down, but six levels to go. And then we hit 85. Cannot wait, cannot wait. Oh, there it is. That's a level. Ah,、oh, wow, 80 crafting, man. <laughs> well, if I want to make more glories, no boosting. Needed w h a t s o e v e r Five more levels though, man. That's a freaking one million plus experience left still. Jesus. Man, the Lumberage Ring is so perfect for farm runs. That daily energy restoration, even the medium one's pretty nice. 50% three times a day. Oh shit, I just hit 91 Slayer. So, a 91 Slayer, we got Cerberus unlocked. Really looking forward to doing this boss in the future for Phase 2. If you haven't checked, Primordial's and Negations are part of possible upgrades that I can be going for once we hit Phase 2, which is when we start raiding. But, anyways, I'm not messing with that for now because, you know, that's just not my business since we're still on Phase 1 trying to get the raids. Something to look forward to, though. Alright, let's go open this up. We got this from Dagonauts here. Oh, a Crozier, bro. Ancient Crozier. I have a Crozier already, I think. I think. Yeah, I, I got one of these recently, yeah. Still looking for a headband, really, to complete one of the hard, hard clues that we need. Might as well check progress. That's gonna give me a level. Alright, l there you go. 72 farming. 72 farming is a pretty big deal, because I can grow daily c a l q u a d trees. That's like 10 to 12k experience a day. And you get those seeds all the time, you know, from like Zora and stuff. So that's gonna help speed up my farm levels. I need higher farming level, man, so I can get more herbs and stuff. So that's gonna be so nice. I have 78 cow quads from Zora. So that's like 800k farm XP, but there's a catch. Only one a day I can plant, so it would take, yeah, over two months to plant all of that. I'm not sure what type of farming situation I'm gonna be in by then, but I should be able to plant all of those. And I also have a lot of fruit tree seeds, like palm and stuff. So, 45 palm tree seeds, so that's a lot and some use and magics. 
So that's probably going to get me uh, in a few hundred Ks as well. So yeah, man, I'm really good on those. I got to start planning. That's a lot of XP. Oh, wait. Are they already tanned? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, really? Zora already drops tanned snake skins? So you could easily just milk a bit of craft XP off of those. Oh, shit. Here we go. 89 attack, boys. Must focus. Oh, 71 fletching, boys. In preparation for a shaman task. Gonna use all my last bits of red throw darts that I made out the 10,000. This is my last. Yeah, like 2,000. Oh, shit. Just at 93 range. Pretty much most of my range XP right now recently has been just from shamans. Oh my god, I just got Lizardman Shamans again? Okay, I mean, whatever. Alright, we got this from uh, first shaman task of the day. Blue D high body G. Alright, collector's item, I guess. Let me check my blowpipe. Wow, I used a thousand metal darts that task. Definitely gotta make some more next time. 1.6k KC now, damn. Another hard clue from second shaman task, boys. Here we go. Oh, Armadale Chaps! I didn't even think about Armadale God D High. Besides Sarah and Sammy, Armadale D High would be really great because when I do go for Armadale Armor in, in the future for Phase 2 upgrades, I'm gonna want some Armadale item protection to start off because I won't have like the chest plate or the chain skirt. So, hell yeah, man, give me that. That's really nice. Oh shit, I just got a black mask. Okay. 1.4 mil, boys. And this will be my 400 tasks, so now I'm at 2,000 Slayer points, really good. I needed to uh, save up some points because I skipped a lot for uh, the Zami Spear earlier. But yeah, man, half to 99 uh, got me all the way to 400 tasks. Alright, this is going to be the last kill. Whoa! I'm going to go ahead and get 90 attack off of the Necroyal Superior and get a good drop off of that. That would be, that'd be a great post reward, huh? Okay, there it is. 90 attack, that's awesome. What about my combat? 113, awesome. Awesome, awesome. That is one of the goals completed for phase one. So now that I'm 90 attack, I'm gonna move on to working on defense now. Thank you, what we got? Just got myself a Crave Kraken task and I'm definitely gonna do it for the 10 scope, but I won't be doing it yet. Actually not for a while. I'm gonna take a break from Slayer and probably start resuming it when I actually make it to phase 2 when we start raiding because I feel like at this point I can probably just rush phase 1 a bit quicker and just get right into the raids so Slayer is definitely um, not that important for that purpose so I just need a few more defense levels I'm honestly just gonna bang out like at Nightmares or something AFK and then some videos and yeah that should be a bit quicker than trying to do it through Slayer so so this is a pretty big deal for me because I usually do Slayer for everything, but yeah, it's time to actually break away from that cycle. Char ships is nice and all nowadays, but man, crafting takes so much time. I am now 81 crafting, and that puts me at a solid four more levels to go to the Fury. I can't wait to be done, honestly. I want to start working on some other uh, skilling stuff for like the Void and like, you know, Dragon Slayer 2 and all that stuff, so cannot wait to finish this. Alright, it's been a few weeks since I've done Zora, so some changes here and there, you know. Got range potions this time, so I'm just gonna pre-pot like I, I used to, except, you know, instead of just in Bew Hearts, gonna be pre-potting range pot in Bew Hearts. And uh, some other changes is probably the Emil Glory, so it's a teeny bit better than the Power Amulet that I had. But yeah, it should be okay. I mean, I don't have Manta Rays, I do have some, but I don't really wanna use it because I'm short on those. So I think maybe sharks and carambons probably suffice because range pots range pots should do the job so it should make the kills go by faster. Damn I could go for three kills honestly. I could nah that's that's too risky. Honestly I'd rather not. But damn that was really nice man holy shit. I could maybe get away with carambons but some kills would be super sketch though. Just hit 84 fishing, first day back at Azora. Uh, no success, but let me tell you something, man. Easy two kill trips with my current setup, just using Carambons. You probably never ever expected me to train any of my characters in Nightmare Zone, but 
yeah, here I am, just AFKing away, man. It is super nice, man. Super nice AFK. And I'm going to be getting the rest of my defense levels here to 90, of course. So I just hit 86. So four more to go. Um, this place is really good. AFK experience, 80k an hour, man. Like, I can't really get any better than that. Especially for AFK. So in other places, I tried Bandits earlier, but yeah, Nightmare Zone is just kind of broken compared to that. And uh, good Nightmare Zone points, good for a few things like imbuings, like Crystal Bows and Crystal Hallies and stuff. And not to mention Redirection Scrolls, so the points are also nice as well. Eventually I would have to go back for those. So I might as well just get it now while I'm training defense. Alright, let's decant some potions for Zora. Turning them into 1 doses just because uh, it's a bit more efficient. Since I'm going to pre-pop before I go for the 2 kills with the imbue heart and whatnot, so just have the one dose ready at all times. Makes pre-potting a lot quicker. Oh my god, I just got a blowpipe! <laughs> oh, okay, that's pretty good though, that's pretty good, that's pretty good, honestly. I need the magic thing, but yo, this is 20,000 skills right here, dude. Nice. This is one of those situations where, you know, people are like, wow, this could have been something else. Yeah, well, you're kind of right about that, but, uh, I'll take it, dude. That's pretty nice. So, I won't be doing Slayer for a while, but here's all the currencies that I got right now. 200 plus uh, Toll Flax Seeds, 90 plus Snapdragons, most from Slayer, and a bunch of really high level seeds. Definitely going to be a treat to farm all these. But I definitely got what it takes to get 78 though from all that, so let's use them all up. I realized that all the Myth Darts that I made prior to 10,000, they're pretty much out, like my, my blowpipe has 39, but I still have about 800 myth bars from gargoyles and 2.5k myth ores from mother load, so I'll just do these bars first, 8,000 darts, and then once I run out, it's, I guess, time to start actually going and do some blast furnace and making some, yeah, good old bars and get some XP. Nice, 59 smithing. Alright, just did a pretty big prep for Zora, seeing as I might be there probably for a while. So stocked up on a lot of prayer pots, uh, made some range pots, but one dose lasts about two kills, so this is actually a lot despite it not being much. But food is okay, because I'm using actually mostly Karen ones now, and very little on sharks, so that's really good. Stocked up on recoil, stocked up on ring of dueling. Okay, just hit 82 crafting. Nice, I can craft black dehyde chaps. I don't need that. I love getting levels during bossing, man. I knew this one was coming, though. 93 magic at Zora. That's like, what, my second magic level? I definitely underestimate how much experience I can get from a try, especially when I'm just camping one boss for a long time. Oh, oh no! Oh my god, no, why? Why? Dang it, man. Uh, no, that's my third one. Come on. I saw Fang. I was... Uh, dang it, man. Alright, alright, alright. It's still good. It still scales, you know? Like, that's all I have to tell myself. Just scales. Just scales. More scales. Let's lower in the future, you know? So, I used up all my, like, Renars and Arids and stuff. So, I need to think about which seed I should focus on now. So I haven't been doing wyverns, I've just been AFKing at Nightmare Zone, so no red seeds from that. And I'm going to need a constant supply of prayer potions so I can keep up my bossing grind. So I think it's time to start farming those snapdragons, I got over 90 plus, and I'm pretty sure with how things work nowadays for uh, seed drops, snapdragons are way more common than Renars. So it's going to end up being my main prayer potions. So yeah, we're going to start farming those. Alright boys, small little milestone, 700 Zora KC. Alright, slowly clearing the drop rate for this magic fang here. Holy sandals, 2 wizard boots, and 30 mediums? Oh! Oh man, are you serious? Why? Why bro? Seriously? Alright, more scales though, more scales. I got 60,000 scales to dismantle in the future, I guess. Thank you guys so much for the support on the last video and as promised, I would release the next video in like 3 days instead of 5 so here it is, busting my ass uh, to get another video out a bit earlier. And I'm willing to do it again guys. So let's play 
the game at least one more time. So if this video gets enough likes, then I'll be sure to be motivated to bust out another prize video. I got lots of clips. And yeah, it's just been really hard to actually get my butt to do it faster than four to five days just because I have a lot of stuff going on, you know, between video making and full time streaming. So yeah, man, those support definitely motivates me. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to your channel, feel free to subscribe and even click on the bell. I'll see you guys later with another video in a few days. Bye bye.